So using the simulator, I'm going to attempt to explain what an electrolyte is, how it works, and conductivity of a, of a solution. Um, an electrolyte is basically a, a solution that allows electricity to travel through it, um, kind of like you know, a liquid conductor. And so here we have um, our, our container of water. And so if I put in my, my light, here we have a battery, a light bulb, a uh, positive end and a negative end. And for the circuit to be complete, uh, electrons need to travel through this material, through the water. And you can see the light's not on. So there's no electricity passing through this pure water. So if I add some salt ions into it, you can see that it starts to light up. Okay. Now, I'm out of salt, but what I can do to increase the concentration and brighten the light is to evaporate some of that water off. And so the concentration increases. As you can see in the upper right hand corner here, the concentration increases and the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter. All right, so um, salt water is an electrolyte. And let's try sugar water. All right, so I'm going to dump in my sugar, dump it all in, dump it all in, and no light. Let's see if there's any more sugar in there. Okay, I'm out of sugar and still no light. If I, let's, oops, oh cool. All right, let's try to evaporate that water down. And it's not gonna happen, all right? So uh, sugar water is not an electrolyte. It will not conduct electricity. Okay, and again, this is supposed to be pure water. And let me show you a visual of why that happens. All right, so here, they don't call it salt, they call it sodium chloride, and you'll see why. When I pour the sodium chloride in there, it ionizes, it separates. So we have different atoms of sodium, different atoms of chloride, and um, the chloride are negative ions. And that's what electricity needs. For it to travel, it needs to have some free electrons, some free negative charges to travel from one place to the other. Uh, so these, these negative ions are going to move that energy from one place to the other, and it's going to complete the circuit. So because of these charges are there, these free moving charges are floating around in that water, then it's going to enable the light to turn on. And so if you increase that concentration, Right. Comparatively, the higher concentration is going to um, make the light brighter. Now, on the other hand, when we use the sugar, watch what happens. We have these real complex sucrose molecules, but they don't ionize. They don't separate. So we don't have a situation where we have free moving electrons that will help move that electricity. And so even if you know, it doesn't matter what the concentration is, we don't have that breakup of positive and negative charges. So we're not going to get um, anything lighting up that light bulb. All right, so I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.